Welcome to our next video tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will learn about the trim command. The trim command removes the parts which are not desired by the user and they don't belong to the physical object. The way it works is that we just select part created in our object tree and then we remove the areas which are not of our interest. The way it works is we just select the first object and then holding control key we just click on the other object and we call the trim command either from the toolbar or by right clicking on the screen and selecting trim. Trim command supports up to 10 objects simultaneously and the way it works it just takes the object cuts every object using the other object of the selection and then it splits them into parts. In this particular case we will have uh, four separate surfaces. One is here, the other one is here, this is the third one and the fourth one. What user needs to do in this case is just click on the surfaces that have to be removed. This is just by using the left mouse button. When the user is happy of what he sees on the screen, he just press OK. Now we will just perform the same operation on the, our resulting surface and this plane. Again holding the control and I click with the left mouse button I have them pre-selected and press trim. I can click on this surface that needs to be removed and just click on this one. At any point if you want, if you made a mistake or if you want to reset back to the original position you can select reset trim and then you can redo again. In many cases when you edit the trim you may need to see what the original object looks like so the software has an option show wireframes of the object what it does it just gives you an outline what the original object is like so you can get an idea how it looks like before you make your decisions when you are happy with the result you just press OK you can always come back right click on the trim surface and press edit I can reset the trim and start again. In some cases the user may not be able to see inside of what's going on so it's useful if you can turn on or off one of the main surfaces. The way it works is just by using these buttons. So I can click on trim surface it just removed and doesn't display anything so I can easily access my plane here for example and then I can turn it on and remove visibility of this one and I can click on this part to be removed. So I can turn all of them and I can see what my result will look like and if I'm happy I just press OK. In some cases if you visualize one of the part but you quickly want to see the other part you can just swap the visibility. So now it displays the plane if I press swap it just displays my other surface. Again clicking on the name it will just show the surface back on the screen. When I'm happy I just press OK. Let's take a look at one example which is a bit more complicated and how we can use the trim command in the most efficient way. So this is a partially resurfaced um, watch this is what it looks like. This is our mesh. So we reconstructed with a quad surface the area which is a free form. Then I created a plane here on the side and another plane. And then we have the full body. What we do in this case is I can select even in the object tree. I select the trim surface, select with the control key the quad surface, the plane and the other plane. Then I right click in the area and select trim. The software does its preparation and it's ready to go. I will just hide my reference mesh. Now I just start clicking 
to remove the areas which are not needed. In this case, there are some surfaces that need to be removed, but they are not visible and there is no way for me to click on them. So that's why, for example, I'll just hide this quad surface and I'll just click here and this will be removed and I click inside. Then I can turn this quad surface back and I can see that there are some more areas here which still need to be removed. So in this case I can just turn off this and show my uh, quad surface. So now I can just click and remove these surfaces. When I'm done I can bring it back and when I'm happy I just press OK. As you see now, we reconstructed the model and we currently have a solid. In the same way, we'll just reconstruct this on the other side and you can get the model done. Thank you for watching.